Gino De Campo's Keyside restaurant here in Newcastle. Oh, you know what I mean? If my grandmother had wheels, she would have been a bike. <laughs> um, and to be honest, the view is incredible from the restaurant. Here we are. We're sat outside, everyone else is sat inside. The inside looks immaculate and clean. You have a fire burning pizza oven there. And outside, the view here at Newcastle Keyside is something else. Gino de Campo's restaurant here at Keyside, Newcastle. Um, for everyone who's watching this, the subscribers chose what we ordered. So thank you very much, all subscribers. Graham's just plastering his up with salt at the minute. And what he's got here is belly pork on a bed of salad and chestnut, was it, or hazelnut. Then we've got some rosemary potatoes. Got some chips that came with my steak. And here we have a ribeye steak. Ribeye steak with blue cheese sauce, which was extra. See what the food's like here at Gino. Where's the sign? Gino de Campos. We're going to dig into both meals and see what it's like. I'm going to have a couple of chips dunked into the blue cheese sauce. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I love blue cheese sauce. Belly pork, go on then, cut us a bit off to Grim. It's got some sort of sweet, sweet glaze over it. A decent amount of meat there. Yeah, I think that is beautiful belly pork. So let's dig in at the ribeye. Ribeye is my favourite steak. I asked for medium rare. That is more well done than anything. Now the issue with this steak is the fact it's it's well done. Let's go to the thicker part. There's a slight bit of pink in there, then you're talking medium well. The whole point in a ribeye, medium rare, so the fat melts in the whole steak. That's why I love a ribeye. It's chips, nice and crispy. The blue cheese sauce is incredible by the way. But the big, big letdown here, the main dish is the fact that the steak is well done but if that was god if that was a george i'd probably send it i'd send it back if this if the staff the george served me that i'd send it back i'll wait for someone to come out and ask how your food is and then we'll tell them it's overcooked it tastes like a good piece of ribeye but that belly pork mm. as for the steak um the most expensive meal it's a little bit pricey we're gonna have to send it back to the kitchen belly part was incredible steak was overcooked so finally the staff came over um, at Gino's and we waited for them to come from when we started the meal I had three bites out of the steak and I could tell as I was cutting into it that it was well done I tried to even cut into the thickest part of the steak which was thin anyway and it was just well done all the way through and I ordered my steak medium rare and so that's what I wanted so we sent it back eventually when they came over probably after half an hour after serving us I said was everything okay I said no not really mate it wasn't cooked right and the guy was amazing his service was incredible he went no problem I'll take it off the bill would you like another one I said no I don't need another one because we knew we were going to mark up here whites next um, but he did take the full cost of the steak and the sauce off the bill it just wasn't it wasn't a good steak but the belly pork was one of the best meals I've ever had so my dad managed to have a good meal there and it was all down to the way that you voted so the subscribers actually chose what we were eating at Gino De Campo's restaurant here at Newcastle Keyside. Right, so this is the second restaurant of the night here in Newcastle. So we're now at Margot Pierre White's restaurant in Newcastle and it's below the hotel where we're actually staying, Indigo Hotel. I like a pig. I like a pig a lot. So in front of me now is a nice ribeye steak. So of all the steaks, they had fillet, um, ribeye and sirloin. Now, I will always go for ribeye because of the extra fat that's in a ribeye. And if it's cooked right, that fat will just melt throughout. And hopefully it's better than the one I've just had at Gino De Campo's restaurant. Big, chunky homemade chips there with nice sea salt on top. You've got the Marco Pierre, Pierre White wrap in there. And then you've got a beautiful ribeye steak with tomatoes on top. And then you've got lots of crests. So you've got cherry or vine tomatoes on top uh, which i'm just going to take off you can see the seasons seasoning all over that steak and i've just put the 
salad just on the side there. Look at that. So let's dig in, see if it's cooked right, see exactly if it is worth the money here in Newcastle, um, Marco Pierre White's restaurant. Look at that. That is the thickness of a steak, how it should be. Cooked exactly how it should be. Oh my god, I can't wait to get took into that. Mm. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful. That's how a steak should look. It's how thick a steak should be. And well played to the chef, you know, cooked right, grill marked, seasoned perfectly, banging. Mm. Mm. Now they did tell me one of the one of the best dishes on the menu is a tomahawk, but it's it's served for two people. So you've got summer signature steak, sharing steak, tomahawk, which is just over one kilo. 1.2 kilo and it's 67 pound 50 but if there's two of you sharing that then you're getting a good steak but the thing with the tomahawk it also includes the bone where the ribeye is the meat at the end of the tomahawk for me i like it medium rare and that is absolutely perfect and then on the side there's some homemade chunky chips crisp on the outside soft scented potato in the middle a nice chunky sea salt on top of the chips. Really soft tomatoes, sweet. And you can have a bite of them tomatoes with the steak to change the flavor. But that steak doesn't need any sauce. And when you've got an amazing steak, you don't need to put a sauce on it. Oh. A thing of beauty. Look at that. Could you get a juicier steak than that? Steaks I've had tonight is absolutely chalk and cheese between them. Mark up here white here in Newcastle. For me, it's a it's a nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Absolutely banging steak. Would I come back? Yeah, 100 percent That steak was unbelievable! Mark up Pierre White, you've nailed it there, lad. You've absolutely nailed it. Um, the hotels, Hotel Indigo, perfect. The staff were, were amazing at reception. The staff in the restaurant part were class, especially the young lad serving me. Um, the steak was unreal. Perfect, it was perfect. So, Marco Pierre White versus Gino De Campo in Steak Wars. Marco Pierre White, there he is, beats Gino. Thank you very much. Well done, definitely go and check him out for a steak. Head over to Newcastle, see what Mark up here White's restaurant's all about. You know, go back to Gino's, try them belly pork, try that belly pork dish, which was absolutely class. But on this occasion, Marco wins.